Hey everybody, especially all you replay viewers, I love you guys. You are the best for coming on here to uh, watch some of this content. Um, those of you who uh, don't know about the series, essentially it's uh, Design Your Life. It's um, just taken from, from uh, my last kind of 12 years of, of being an entrepreneur and meeting lots of incredible people, uh, some incredibly successful people, some not so successful people, and just kind of learning from all this. and. And reading a lot a lot of books uh, we are actually um, uh, going to be getting into a few lives here very very soon where we're going to be talking about a lot of these books some of the ones that inspire me the most and so um, when you are, are coming on here live uh, please share where you're calling in from and um, uh, that would be amazing in the comments there so um, what we're gonna do today is I am going to talk a little bit about fa uh, failure and I'm going to talk a little bit about numbers and so on because um, I got really inspired uh, this morning. I, um, I usually check kind of the basketball scores. I'm a huge basketball fan. And one of the things that we often see like as an as a inspirational thing um, is um, this kind of quote about Michael Jordan about he missed all these shots, he lost all these games, but yet he still you know, keeps on going, keeps on taking these shots, right? And um, uh, today there was somebody else who is pretty much considered the best basketball player in the world, which is LeBron James. Um, he, uh, I saw his statistics for ma like sh making the game winners in the end of games or sh in overtime, and it's awful. Like he's made something like three out of like twenty shots or something, which is really really terrible. Because in basketball you should make about at least fifty percent of your shots. And so uh, just a big interruption here. Um, have a little nice view here. So I know you guys are have amazing weather. Most of you are calling in probably from 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 the UK or Scotland or wherever. And so I know that you're not jealous at all of the little waves here. It's actually my, up on my terrace here. So I've got little palm trees here. We've got a little hot tub over here. So we're going to be out here most of the mornings for breakfast and whatever else coming up here soon. Tonight, today is all, awesome. It's about 20, 22 degrees. But um, I'm sure we're going to have a little bit cool, cooler here in the next few days or so. Um, but um, no idea where I was. Okay, so this guy, LeBron, right? So he's... He, 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 he don't be jealous just just go and work hard I worked very very hard to, 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 to have something like this to be able to design my life right that's a big part of all this is really hard work right you got to work smart you got to work hard and you got to do so for for a set number of years you got to be really 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 focused and very very consistent okay that's really the key keys to success and and then you can really design a life which um, you know I'm really happy that my wife found this place we love it here we have incredible views and uh, get to wake up um, my bedroom is actually just right below here so we can actually get this view here in the morning for, from our bedroom, from my office. I also just right down below here, and also in um, my kid's bedroom. The only thing is our, our our living room doesn't. You can see the ocean, but it does, it's not it's not awesome views. So we need to work on that. Um, and uh, so with with uh, LeBron being his best player, he still continues to take these shots. So today he or last night actually in the U.S. he took this shot and made it right, and they ended up going to overtime, and then they won in overtime. And that's just what I love is like when you when you have these people that are just total winners. I mean, this is the best player in the world. Yet he's so so bad at taking these like pressure shots, but he continues to do that right. And so. Uh, one of the big, big keys to success in any business, in any kind of sales thing, whatever you're doing, is, is, is getting a lot, a lot of failures, getting a lot, a lot of rejection, a lot of no's. And, and one of the things that really put fire into, into uh, my business was one of my business partners uh, uh, and a few of us actually saw a video online which was um, how can you get rejected 20 times a day, right? So this... this uh, 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 this guy who's, who's pretty well known in our industry, you know, he, he, he wasn't having success and suddenly he went, I'm going to go for 20 no's every single day. I'm going to get rejected 20 times. I actually have people tell me, no, I'm not interested, 20 times every single day. And so we started this group and it was called Go, go For No and we, it was 20, 20 no's a day group, I think it was called. And we had to get 20 no's every single day. And what we realized was that we had to go through such crazy numbers to get those 20 no's that it was, it was very, very, very difficult to do, even in one day. Like, uh, I remember I used to cold call, I used to get on the phone, it was a few years back, kind of before we started to really use social media in a big way, but I used to get on the phone and just be like, just dialing, 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 and just get, you know, getting people on the phone and just getting rejected over and over and over again. Of course, I got a lot of like meetings booked, I got a lot of people interested in the business as well, because that's what happens when you're going through the big numbers, right? And of course, 
Uh, and with all this, you got to go through like this incredible enthusiasm. You got to go re get rejected and then be super excited. Yes, I got rejected. Now, how can I go get rejected again, right? If you can keep that energy and that enthusiasm up, that's what's really going to help to, to, to get people to come on board and, and, and whatever you're doing. So in network marketing, obviously you're selling this vision that you want people to be part of your team. And so you've got to have energy, you've got to have enthusiasm because that's what people really buy into a lot of times. They're going to buy into your vision, they're going to buy into that, hey, if this guy's going places, I want to come with them, right? If this girl's going places, I want to go with her. And so you've got to always have that. And, and yes, it's, it's tough because it's like they said no, they said no, they said no. And so your confidence kind of starts going down, your enthusiasm goes down, your energy goes down. And so you've got to fill up your bucket. And a huge way to fill up your bucket is every single day, personal development, reading the right things, listening to the right audios. But also, how can you surround yourself with amazing people? And that's where um, I have a huge, huge belief that if you go along to, like for example, network marketing, if there's a weekly meeting happening in your uh, city, then you've got to go to that every single week to fill up your bucket and if there's not a meeting in your city you've got to make sure that you create one it doesn't matter if you're a big leader or making any kind of money you've got to say okay there's no meetings happening in my area I'm now going to become a leader and I'm going to create this meeting right here right now okay that is so 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 important and what I see even though that yes today we are mainly building businesses online with with social media with Facebook with Instagram LinkedIn whatever it is you're using it's still, you still need something called glue, which I call it, right? And that's when people meet up and have fun and, and eat together and, 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 and share this, this enthusiasm with each other. And that's done face to face. And you can never create that online in the same way, okay? You can do a lot of things online and you can work through huge numbers online, but you can never create this incredible glue of getting people to really fall in love with the people around them and that feeling and the energy, okay? And so that's my huge recommendation for anybody that's watching this, especially if you're in, in my businesses, make sure there's a meeting in your area. If not, you create one, okay? And, and, and you've got to build up like crazy energy to get people to come along to that meeting. I remember when I first moved to London, I was a nobody, I was making barely any money whatsoever from this business, yet I was like, okay, how can I create a weekly meeting? And um, you know, the first meeting I think we had maybe eight, nine people, and then we'd have like 12, 13, then we'd have 50, and then we'd have like two, and then we'd have, you know, maybe seven, and then we, you know, we kept on fluctuating these numbers, but it was like every week, just keep on doing it, keep on doing it. And, and you know, within a couple of years in, in London, I remember when we were really going well, we were doing about 60, 70 people every single single week. Okay, now they're doing a lot because obviously we've got, we got a pretty big, big, big business happening there. But but this is towards the beginning of times, you know, and we used to do them in our living room. We used to get way too many people there and so on. But <clears throat> going back to this 20 no's a day, so I, we were just cold calling, cold calling. And eventually we actually realized that it was, it was almost impossible to get rejected 20 times a day. And what I mean by that is not people saying like, hanging up on you that's not a rejection they haven't said no yet right that's not people saying on social media like they're ignoring you that's not a no yet it's actually people actually telling you no okay and sometimes you have to push a lot of buttons to get those no's which is not maybe always the best way to build a relationship and, and build something long term but how can you at least in your head get the whole thing of like how can I okay I got the sale of this product whatever it is you're selling how can you get then be like oh look this is amazing but also would you like to try this product as well and they might say yes and suddenly you're selling products for 200, 300, 400, 500 pounds to this one same person, right? And then finally they go, no, 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 that's enough. Like, I don't want that product, right? But why not ask that question to see how can you actually see if they want something else, something else, something else? Because uh, especially when you're working, you know, with a company that have a lot of products or whatever service or whatever it is they have, right? Just keep asking, keep asking, keep asking. So, um... Uh, that's just my, my main message today is just like just understand that it's all about failing over and over and over and over again and you're gonna get to your success right and and have fun with it have enthusiasm with it, have a lot of energy when you do it and eventually you're gonna build a massive massive business whatever it is especially network marketing and, and just being very consistent just every day how can you get rejected by a few people every day how can you build more relationships every day how can you find a few new people right and, and, and also understanding this, so today I spoke to a lovely, lovely lady and she's like, look, this isn't, I've been thinking about this, this isn't for me, you know? And for me, I, I didn't even hear that. Like, I, I can't believe I can recall this to you guys right now. But for me, I don't even hear that, 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 that she's not interested. I'm like, wait, what, what, what are you not interested in? Like traveling, passive income, leverage income, having fun with other people, building up something amazing? Like what's not, what is it that you don't like about that, right? And so um, at the end of it, you know, she, she's still like, oh, talking to you every time I get like all motivated, I want to do something. And I'm like, yeah, like, it's awesome. It's an awesome business, right? It's, a, it's just totally amazing. Like, how could you ever say no to something like that? So 
never hear the word no either. Like even if you do get rejected, yes, maybe count it down and say how many times you can get no, but then also be like, okay, well, that's just for me, uh, them saying, look, I, it's not the right timing right now, or I haven't really fully understood what you're talking about because that's the only reason why they, they, they reject this, right? And so um, just have a lot of fun with it. Um, keep on going, whatever you're doing, you know, it's it's you, you can definitely design your life. You can make 2017 way better than 2016. All I, I suggest for anybody that's in our business as well is we have Marbella coming up. I cannot stress how important it is to be at these events. I did not go to my first big event. My brother did. That's why my brother's made his first million before I did. Um, it's it's you know it's just amazing, amazing what can happen when you go to an event like that. But not just by yourself. Bring people. Bring guests with you. It's so much fun going to these events, not just so much the event itself. Yeah, that's all great, hearing all these great stories and getting all the tips and tricks of how you can improve your business. But it's the little things around the event, the, 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 the parties that we have, um, you know, the lunches, the breakfast stuff. Like, like you'll meet somebody at breakfast that, that, that would just tell you something that would just clicks with you and suddenly, boom, your business just goes to the next level because of just one or two things they told you at breakfast, like some little tip, right? And that's why it's so, so important to go to these events because you never know who you're gonna meet, right? So if you haven't booked for Mobea yet, make sure you do that. It's gonna be so much fun. Uh, this year is it's even gonna be better than I've ever, ever seen before in terms of all the things that I know is happening around it. So. That's it for now. I've got to get to my, uh, I have a conference call and then I've got my Spanish lesson and then um, the kids come home and I get to play with them. So thank you guys so much for listening. I love all you guys for doing that. And just one last look here at the ocean because I know all of you guys want to live by the ocean because it is so peaceful to every morning wake up and we get these crazy colors. Sometimes the ocean looks like this. Sometimes the sky looks like some other thing. Those of you that follow me know that. Alex Salter, yeah, I know you're coming here to visit soon again because you want to be here in the winter when it's nice and sunny. All right, everybody. Have an awesome, awesome uh, day and week, and I will be back here soon.